Hi everyone. Uh, so today we have a haul, Cologne book haul. Um, this is what I have bought in August. So yeah, we will just move everything and then get stuck in, I guess. So it's currently about, mm, I don't know, half 12, 21 p.m. And yeah. Okay, so let's zoom this in a little bit. So the first one is Enchanted Galaxies. And this is by Alexandra Zakharakos. So this is on Amazon Paper. I'm sure you've probably all seen this one. These are just so fun. And it is completely single sided because then when you come to a double pitch spread, I'm a little bit zoomed in for double pitch spreads, but there's not a huge amount of them. So we'll kind of just keep them like this. I say as I come to a number one. <laughs> okay, so maybe there's a few more double pages than I thought there was. I haven't oh, sorry. had a proper flip through of this one yet. I've got another one. I'm not going to bother moving them. I'm sure you've seen this book before. But they are so fun. Uh, paper is, you know, the Amazon paper. That doesn't bother me. I will still colour with anything on it, really. Uh, pencils, pens, markers, watercolour, whatever. It doesn't bother me at all. Oh, I really need to pick that spine. Love that one, that's gorgeous. So all of these would be perfect for Space Timber, which is coming up very soon. And yeah, I just wanted, I don't know, something kind of it's not simple but you know something kind of cute and whimsy we are fighting this book at the moment that one reminds me a lot of a uh, Hannah Carlson page for some reason So yeah, that one is Enchanted Galaxies by Alexandra Zakharakos. Next, let's do... Oh, I'm going to have to zoom out, aren't I? There we go. Um, Dark Demons, book one. Horror colouring book for adults. And this is by Crook Crook. Now, I don't know if this is just really badly printed or if it is supposed to be like that. So it's like every other page is like it. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely sure. But I don't know if you can tell, but like the black lettering is very faded as well in places so I think it is badly printed but I don't know as well if that is meant to be there. 
Alright, this is so cool. Um, yeah. So many ideas in my head. But whether I can bring them to life, I don't know. Something that I would have to have to see. I love that one, that one's so cool. I always find flipping this way really difficult. Does anyone else? So I believe in this one there's 36 uh, demons in here. Yeah, I just thought this would be quite cool to do. Amazon paper. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it. It's a book by Crook Crook. I'm sure you all know them. They do, well, all horror, horror themed books. Oh, that's the last one. So, yeah, that is Dark Demons by Crook Crook. Under here. So, I was really, really excited for this book and flipping through it, I don't know, I'm a little disappointed, I think. I thought there was going to be more from Floribunda. Um, yeah, this is by Leila Dooley and the paper is not as nice as her other books either I don't I don't think but it's still gorgeous it's still definitely worth having but it kind of just looks like the flower year to me because I recognize I would say most of these pages I might be wrong, there may be more from Floribunda that I think there is. But, I don't know. I never had it. Uh, which is why I was really excited for this. Because I kind of thought that it was going to be basically, you know, like two books in one. But, yeah. You know, you've got all of Lola Julie's gorgeous, gorgeous, detailed images. Now that one I'm pretty sure is from Florida. I'm sure there's others. Maybe that one. Possibly that one. I don't know. It's still beautiful. But the paper's not quite as thick as her flower yet. But it should still work pretty good. I'm not complaining about it. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's just not quite what I thought it was going to be. And I can't quite decide if having them... Um, a4 size makes them easier or if it makes them harder <laughs> i'm not entirely sure but 
but yeah, beautiful images. I do love her. I really do. Mm, honeysuckle. Oh, the honeysuckle's been out for a while um, around here. Uh, whenever I go and walk Luna, we walk past just like a huge hedge full of it, basically. And it smells absolutely divine. Have you ever tasted fresh honeysuckle? It is so nice. You just pick the flower off um, and pull the bottom off and then you just like suck it out of the flower. It's, oh, like, I don't know, ambrosia, I would say. You know, nectar of the gods kind of thing. So I did this page in the flower year and i think i have a tutorial on it i'll have to go back to doing tutorials actually on these because i know a lot of people were interested in them but they do take a very long time to do And then that's it. And then at the back, you've got an about your author. You've got, you know, the little thumbnails. And then you've got some note paper. And then you just got some blank paper for sketches, apparently. got I think that's called the French flap I think I'm not entirely sure so yeah that is the Flora Bundy year by Leila Durillo next I'm sure everyone has seen this and that is Shooting Star by Maria Troy love the inside cover of this I think that colour is just stunning gorgeous gorgeous book We all know Maria Trolley. Love the images. They seem a little bit more simpler than some of her other books. That would be good for Space Timber. Never know where you're going to find a space page. Um, but yeah, still just beautiful beautiful images that's so pretty true for a star I can imagine doing like a lot of kind of glow effects with that one Sorry, I'm just trying to centre that a little bit more. So these are a bit more intricate. A little bit more like some ones from her other books. That's gorgeous. Oh, I just noticed a tiny little fairy riding on the bee. That's really cute. I love the axolotls of the star. So cute. Mushrooms. Unicorn. Mother Earth and the Moon. Squirrels. So funny. That one's really cute. It's 
some winter ones. And that is it. So that is Shooting Star by Mervia Trolley. Okay, next we are going to get into my big square ones. So the first one is The Lost Forest Covering Book by Ghost Shrimp. Um, big thank you to Candice from Happy Catastrophe for showing this book on her channel. Otherwise, I would have no idea about it. And I absolutely love it. Such a fun book. Can I zoom out anymore? I can. Just move the desk a little bit. There we go. Should we see everything now? So I have started a page in here. Um, late last night, I just wanted to do something relatively simple. Oh yeah, you can see it there. Um, but oh, I love these ones. They are just so cool. So yeah, I just started this one. Um, I'm just going to be doing it, I think, entirely in Jelly Roll Moonlight. But, yeah, they make no sense at all. <laughs> and they are just amazing. I don't actually need to be zoomed out that far, do I? Because this is single-sided. I don't think there's any double pages. Um, so, yeah, makes no sense. And it's just so fun. Perfect for Space Timber. Because, you know, it's all aliens and spaceships and things like that now these are probably the only pages that i wouldn't do is the draw ones but there's only i think three or four in here so it's not too bad and these are the kind of pages that you could probably spend half an hour just looking at and you would still be finding new things Some of them are more simple. I can almost imagine that then with like neons around the outside. And then you know you've got these ones which are a bit more complicated. I've got these mandala type ones. I know Candace did this one and it looks awesome. There's another draw page. I have no idea what he's doing. I think he's like singing karaoke or something. I don't know. I think he's just an astronaut just balancing along the lights at the top there. What is going on with all of the ghosts on these pages? Yeah, it's... Oh, it's just so funny. I love it. It's such fun art. Beef stew. But yeah, these are pages where you can definitely just let your imagination run absolutely wild no there is no need to stick to conventional colors at all oh <laughs> these a dude just kind of blended in there a dude I 
that I got from. That one's really cool. That reminds me of the uh, piranha plants from Mario, slightly. I love these forts. The alien lifted weights. <laughs> Dinosaur with a flail on his tail. page <clears throat> yes it is uh so yeah that's the lost forest coloring book by ghost shrimp um you know as you can see from the image on here you do not have to stick to your conventional colors you do not have to do your tree trunks brown in a book like that it's just like no you don't need to i mean you don't need to in any book but especially in that one so next we have fantastic worlds coloring book by alessandra fusi now I have wanted this one for ages since, well, since before it came out, when I saw it was on Amazon, I was like, I need this book. And I've only now just managed to get it. And this, again, is very, spine is being a pain. Sorry about that. So I think every single page in here is a double page spread. But the images are just so gorgeous. I really want to jump into this one. I've been thinking maybe this page. First, um, oh, there's a couple of others I've looked at. But I'm kind of like, ooh, yeah. Potentially this one, but I think I prefer the others more. The spine is really fighting me. It could get difficult. Maybe this one. This one reminds me of Princess Mononoke. That's the front cover. do quite like that one. I love the bottle. That bottle's gorgeous. Really good paper in here. Griffin. That's quite cool. It wouldn't be one of my firsts. Oh, a spine. <sighs> it should lay quite flat eventually, but I'm going to have to fight with it for a while, I think. Satya. Medusa type. Love a cat with feathers. That's gorgeous. I love that. The guinea pig wearing armour. <laughs> it's just so cute. She's beautiful. Look at all of that intricate detailing. gorgeous as well they're all gorgeous it's not a single page in here that i don't like yes that's the other one i am very much contemplating on doing the little woodland fey elf thing with all of the orchids it's beautiful Like Dragon Queen or something. It's 
big September one there. That's beautiful as well. I love the butterflies. Got the dwarf in a tavern, of course. She's stunning, absolutely gorgeous. And that is everything in that one. So that is Fantastic World's Colouring Book by Alessandra Lucy. Okay, next one. So these ones are second hand off Amazon. Uh, first one is Tolkien's World and this is by... Uh... <laughs> Victor Ambrose, John Davis, Moa Mazzara, Ian Miller, and Andrea Paparo. And I think these were three pound each. Um, really cheap, really, really cheap. Um, really good paper. And just look at those images. Oh my god. I can imagine these being done in watercolour, most definitely. I think watercolour would fit them perfect. Sorry if you can hear my phone going off. Let's look at that. The bottom it does say what each image is. That is just oh my god. Kind of imagine doing like a galaxy sky with it. And you know, just these just scream watercolour for me. I don't know about you. Yeah, these are second hand off Amazon, um, but they are in perfect condition. Like, you know, the actual pages themselves. The covers are a little bit dinged, but apart from that, yeah, brilliant. The Misty Mountains. Love that one of the milkwood. Apart from the giant spider, that not quite so much. Erebor, Ravens of Erebor, Smog, Thorin, the Shire, love it. Definitely watercolour for that one, I think. Pipeweed, the Mulips. Radagast butterflies. The Barrow Downs, love it. Black Riders, Midwater Marshes, Vivendale, love that one. I'm not sure what I would do with that blank or that black blur blank space though. Probably just a wash of colour. Luckless Aragon, Bomber, Orcs, Alisar, Gandalf, The River Anduin, another beautiful double page spread, The Death of Bomir, Winged Beasts, the Philorian Elves, Golden Wood, The Mirrors, Rhyam, Golden Hall, Saruman, Half Orcs. It's really interesting how they've done it. It's face really dark shading. 
uh, flowers of Middle Earth, Pukal Man, Men of Gondor, the White Tower of Gondor, an Oliphant, another Oliphant, the Witch King of Angma, Eowyn, Dead Marshes, Bada, Shalop, Horrifying, Terrifying, Minas Morgul, Silent Watchers, Frodo, the Olokai, Ardrin, Nazgul, the Grey Havens, Snowman of Fortia, Easterlings, and the Gamji family. So that is Tolkien's World colouring book. And then the next one is Beasts of Tolkien. So I don't know if you can tell, the cover is very scratched up. Originally from the works, £4. I got it for like three quid off Amazon. And this one is illustrated by Mo Mazzara and Andrea Papado. And again, it says what they are on the bottom. So the Yurch, Norsa, Smeagol. I think there might be a couple of duplicates from this book in the other one, but I'm not entirely sure. The Aronnix, Shelop, Melko, Sorm, Yavanna, Oki, struggling to turn the page, Golden Dragon of Airboss, Mark. Lindu, the fair, Ulmo. Oh, he's, I just noticed that. I thought it was just a wave, but it's not. Huh. The Goku, Balan, the Onodrim. Manwe, Barrowrights, the Miyaz, Kakapoka, Stai, Loki, Kruban, the Nika Breakers. Work Wendy The Pre Numonians A Garhoff Cold Drakes By the way please please don't comment on my pronunciation it is probably absolutely terrible uh Belchoff, Mulips, Roach, Festiticillion, Urukai, Glamoth, Variags, and the Rearworms, Oathbreakers. Ule, Snaga, Moomkill, Mandos, the Wolves, 
Olome, Kukoman, Ungolian, Juan, the Big Folk, the Elf, Old Man Willow, Albarath Gilfamil, No. Going refill, Poodle's Red, Triff, Witch King of Amgar, Nazgul Birds, Pyriac, King of Owl, Flies of Mordor, Olokai, Salm, you're Loki, Sea Beast, Fogoil, Urchin, Balrog, Dumbledore's, Nazgul, and oh. Okay, on a random piece of paper. Uh, yeah, that is Beasts of Tolkien, a colouring book. Um, no, that is not everything. I have two little supplies as well. Mm, nothing interesting. So first, I got a pack of five black paint pens from Artistro. Um, I wanted small paint pens to use, like more black ones to use in my Disney colour by numbers. Extra fine tip. So I got those and I got a pack of page tabs. There's 10 sets in here, all different colours. Um, so yeah, that is everything. So thank you very much for watching. And let me know if you have any of these books and what you think of them. Um, if you could like, comment and subscribe, I would love that. Uh, yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye.